Welcome to the global interview. Thank you for listening. This is where you can keep up to date with all the latest news and information direct from leading creatives, leaders, and thinkers. We can help to keep you right up to date with all the latest information from interesting people who make a real difference in this globally connected world. You can find out more about the show at theglobalinterview.com. Enjoy the episode. Ranka Injak Misik, founder of One Tiny Tribe and co-founder of Gig Super. A superannuation fund built on the simple idea that you shouldn't need to be a finance expert to do super properly when you're self-employed. Branka currently looks after CX and community at Gig Super. She was previously in charge of developing and optimizing business communications with evidence-based marketing across multiple platforms, by combining psychology and online behavior with persuasive copywriting methods and kick-ass UX. She did this for some serious Aussie players in the fintech, digital search, real estate, and e-commerce industries. Outside of her commitments to growing other people's companies, she's also spent time building her e-commerce business One Tiny Tribe and speaking on the topics of comms, email, social media, UX, CX, and startups. Tell us about your current role and what you like about your career and areas of focus. I currently look after community and customer experience at Gig Super, a superannuation fund focused exclusively on self-employed people. What I enjoy most about my work is seeing the genuine impact we get to make to people's lives. You see, self-employed people are responsible for their own superannuation. But because the process is overwhelmingly complicated, many will get it wrong, or they'll just lump it in the too hard basket and do nothing about it. So despite a lifetime of hard work, too many self-employed Australians will struggle to achieve a comfortable retirement dot because we understand what it takes for self-employed people to do super properly, we created a fund with a purpose-built app and experience that makes it easier for them to get started. We then help automate their savings to put them on a path to a more comfortable retirement. What inspires you, motivates you, helps you to make each day count? Making a meaningful difference dot when I was younger. I used to think that the only way to make a meaningful difference was to travel to a less privileged country and dedicate a significant amount of time volunteering there. And while that's certainly one way to make a big impact, I've come to realize that meaningful differences can be made to anyone's day or life, by figuring out exactly what a particular person's need is and helping deliver a solution to that need in as smooth a way as possible. Outside of your professional work area, What hobbies or interests do you have or what other areas of your life are of real importance to you? Getting visually creative and playing the guitar are two of my big hobbies. As for the area of my life, that's of the utmost importance? It's definitely my kids. When it comes to your life-chosen career, is there a phrase, quote, or saying that you really like? How do I explain what I do at a party? The short version is that I say I humanize technology. Fred Beecher, director of UX, the nerdery it's like he took the words right out of my mouth smile. What are you most proud of in your life? Raising kind, strong, ambitious children. What do you wish you had known when you started out? That there's no use in wasting hours and hours nose deep in theory. The only way to get really good at crafting great experiences is to roll your sleeves up, get to deeply know the people whose problems you're solving and do the work, always testing and iterating. Who do you most admire in business, academic or creative circles? People who value ongoing learning and understand that many different experiences shape the mastery of speciality. Also, people who are generous with their knowledge, I think it's such a beautiful trait. What companies, brands or institutions do you like or do you think are getting it right? I think companies like Kajabi are nailing both the customer experience and the employee experience. They understand their customers and care about making an impact to their lives and their bottom line. On a recent episode of A Table at the Back podcast, which I co-host with my friend Laura, we interviewed Kajabi's lead copywriter, and it was a real insight into how progressive the company really is. What is the best advice you have ever received? Trust that you know what's best for you and your family. That sounds so simple and so corny. I know. But I have really struggled with working mum guilt in the past. Then I realized that not working would be detrimental to my emotional state. And not working would be lying about who I am, and what sort of lesson is that to teach my kids? 
How can I say to them be proud of who you are and never change for anyone if I am not modeling that behavior? So, instead, I have reframed my own thinking and reorganized my life to fit in a comfortable balance of both work and parenting. I also look for flexible employers and clients who know and appreciate the value of working parents, and I try to show my kids that good work ethic is an important part of life. I take the kids into work on school holidays, and I've taken them to meetings before, too, explaining to them why mummy is working and that things don't just come to you for free. I consider this an important part of their upbringing, especially as society moves into an instant gratification expectation mindset and cash as we know it slowly disappears. I want my kids to understand that behind that simple tap of a card onto a machine at the shops is work, not magic. What drives or motivates you each day in a work environment? Again, it would have to be making a meaningful difference. Hearing from customers who have been positively impacted by what you do is, in my opinion, priceless. What are your thoughts on the future of social media? I think the next big thing for brands when it comes to customer experience will be masting the intersection of social media and community in order to connect people to the companies trying to serve them. We're heading into an era of closed online communities, and that's where true loyalty and advocacy will be born. What is your favorite social media platform, and why? In 2014-15, I grew my e-commerce store on Instagram organically, with zero dollars spent on marketing. So Instagram has a very special place in my heart. But I have to say that LinkedIn is also a great platform, especially since you can still get great organic reach there and quickly build a personal brand. Do you have a mentor, or have you ever been a mentor to anyone? I don't have an official mentor, but I tap into Nick Rameka's knowledge often and absolutely adore him for being so generous with it. How do you network? What is your preferred way to network? While I enjoy face-to-face -face networking, it can be quite exhausting for an introvert like me. But I still go along to in-person networking events because nothing beats that kind of connection. Having said that, I've spent the last five-plus years building online communities, so online networking feels very comfortable for me. What advice would you have for someone looking to get into the same area of work? You have to care about people. Like actually care about people. Building technology is one thing. Building technology that actually makes a difference starts with truly caring about making a difference to someone's life. What do you feel is the most common reason for people failing or giving up? A global culture of instant gratification. It's like somewhere along the line we miss the fact that every overnight success has been many years in the making. How do you define success, and what lessons have you learned so far that you could share with our audience? I wrote a short article on LinkedIn about this a few years ago. Some of the companies slash people mentioned in it might have changed, but my definition of success is still the same. What skills do you feel have helped you to become successful? I'd say my Gallup Clifton Strength skills have come in handy. My top five are Learner Achiever Activator Maximize Strategic I'll let you figure out what they mean. Thank you for listening to this interview on The Global Interview. You can join The Global Interview newsletter at theglobalinterview.com. Thank you for listening to this episode from The Global Interview. We appreciate your support. If you would like to find out more, please visit theglobalinterview.com.